Where's the yachting market at? Right here. 40 to 50 foot multi hulls. And this here, at Le Grand Mot Show, you'll notice something different. All three of these boats here are trimarans. 51, 65, 47. This is a brand new one from Neil. Neil have stumbled on something. Let's have a look on the new 47. So if you don't know Neil Trimarans, they're based in La Rochelle. They've doubled their turnover in the last year. They've doubled the size of their shipyard. They're producing one of these 47 every three weeks now. They started with a 45, came along with that 65, 51 a couple of years ago. And that really hit the right mark. And I think it's because monohull sailors can enjoy a similar sort of feeling with a trimaran as they can, they're used to with a monohull. It's a, it's, a, it's a bit different and more performance oriented than a cruising cat is. Let's have a look on the 47. With the 51, they, they Neil brought this cock loon concept, which is this big open bulkhead joining the saloon and the cockpit. One level living, and it really works well. Uh, and they, so they've now brought that in to this 47 and the 65. But as a couple, the big difference is this boat is oriented just around a couple going cruising on it. So they're the main cabin is here. The heads, shower, wash basin, etc. Down in the, it, it's just all on this central hull, and the saloon, um, galley, and big nav station, which leaves a couple of extra cabins in the floats, which we'll look at. But this is your just all your area in one sort of level here. It's brilliant, open, light, spacious, and check out the views from that master cabin as well. So with the 45, it was obviously a similar sized boat, but it, it wasn't, this is innovative and different to any, anyone doing a, a, a multi-hull of this size because it's completely geared around a couple wires. So you notice this main cabin doesn't have a heads in it. But the heads is down here. So you come down here and you've got a separate heads, a separate wash basin, a se separate shower area. Loads of room on the nav station as well. Heads in here, shower up forward, wash basin in the middle. I don't like the sharp edges everywhere, but it's being picky perhaps. Massive space, storage space, engineering space and machinery space in this central hull. The engine room access is under the cockpit, but this is just water making, plumbing, electrics, genset can go in here. It's it's huge. I mean, look at this, it's almost full standing headroom in this central hull. So this is the other unusual part of the design is to have the guest accommodation, you know, for kids or your family or friends coming to stay, access from the cockpit. And you drop down here into a double cabin each side with a little wash basin and a, and a fold out heads. Nice concept for a couple coming out of here is how easy it is to get between the accommodation and sailing systems. You don't have to go off around the cockpit, it's just an easy walk up to here. Again, Neil do this well, single helm station, everything brought to here, very easy to control. Good sight lines over the top of the coach roof. Works very well. So as you can probably tell, I think this new Lombard Design 47 is a great boat for a couple to go distance cruising on. But you have to come and check this out as well. For a multi-hole, with a phenomenal amount of space. This is the new Neil 65 Evolution. Something that takes this one level living to a whole new level. bit more of the space on the 65 on the flybridge here. Space is not the issue but don't think I'd fancy parking it in this weather. <laughs> 